So this is TFP Student Action, and we're here today at Boston University. And today, we're, the issue is uh, about socialism. Uh, we're handing out a leaflet, 10 reasons to reject socialism, because socialism, among the many things it attacks, it especially goes after private property. And that's a, it's a God-given right that we, that we have. And uh, of course, there's two commandments that defend it, thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not cover the neighbor's goods. And I guess we'll see what happens. I will tell you, communism is wrong. Yeah. It does not work. Anyone who supports communism is one of the stupidest individuals I've ever met. Good, good luck. Oh, thank you so much. Can I, re can I get one of your flyers with the 10 reasons to reject socialism? Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to show it to my class today because they're all nut jobs. <laughs> you always preach to those who agree with you? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's I, last time I checked, if you go check the apostles, they, they, God told them to go preach to, to all, the, all the whole world. They all were going to agree with them. Likewise. Stop socialism now! Stop despots like Hitler, Stalin, and Mao! But also, if you're, you have property and you're looking at the guy that's got nothing, so people like, yeah, I don't really care. Then, yeah, you're oppressing him. No, it's just by the very fact that I own some people, but I'm not saying, hey, you little guy, let me step on you. Yeah. I'm just owning it. I just own it. Yes, you are. Uh, you are not cognizant of social phenomena. So, can, 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 can you give what you don't have? Um, no, you can't. But if you have something, you can give. You have property. That's right. Yeah. Okay, okay. But so, the, the prerequisite is property. You can't give what you don't have. If we all give, if we all actually work together as a society, I'm happy about that. I don't have one. Well, that's not the point. They don't have another natural. choice? Socialism what do you is against natural law. What, is, what is natural law? It is a law imbued on every man's heart. If I were to steal something from you, even if there's no law against stealing, you would steal that was wrong. That's what natural First law is. All, you're saying steal as in, what is this concept of steal? You think that we're not taking, stealing, taking stealing resources from other countries? Taking what's not You think we're not stealing resources from Africa? Because you know what, you've said enough. Well, you've said enough. I've said enough. You've said enough. Five minutes ago, he said, a man could be a mother. What? Yeah, yeah because you don't believe in trans people. You said a, a man could be a mother? Yes, because a trans man can give birth That's to ridiculous. a child. Unfortunately, wow. he believes in communism. He also believes in transgenderism. So we should pray for him. That's right. I don't, honestly, <laughs> y'all gonna waste your time praying on me. So don't worry. We'll pray for you. I'm atheist, so I'm not. You, you can, right now, you guys are alone by yourself. You look like idiots. And well, you're debating us. So you're debating Yeah, us. because I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing no, this not <laughs> on our okay, campus. We're not, not I'm tired of socialists. Socialist. Not to sure about our socialists. No, because you're the thing is about socialism, they always reject God. Yeah, exactly. You, you look at the Soviet Union. It's always like, hey guys, let's come together and give everybody justice, food, wealth, yeah. and let's forget about God. Exactly. Make exactly. we are gods. Yeah. So, so never so works. That's what they want to say, right? They claim to be atheists, but uh, they say that uh, to not to avoid the absurdity of saying I am God. Yeah. So they'll say, Oh, there is no God. How did you decide to bring oh, the cross? I was just talking to the guy. I was like, uh, I'm Catholic as well, and uh, we have a cross at our center. I was just praying here. Well, God bless you for bringing the cross, and uh, we we appreciate it. Thank you. To be clear, I don't want to talk about like socialism, communism, we're going to disagree on what those mean. Why don't we talk about like specific things, like Mao Zedong, so, dictatorships, No, that. you have to go by the principle. The principle that stealing from those who have to give to those who don't is wrong. It's an injustice. Okay. That's what socialism okay. believes. Lenin, Lenin said yeah. that how did, how did you communism yeah. is the abolition of private property. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you know that Lenin said that, right? You, yes, you understand I know, that? I know what Lenin said. Though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that, you agree that's wrong? Um, I just think it's not beneficial to go around like socialism bad. Yeah. I might disagree on what socialism is. People disagree on what socialism is. You just say a specific. So we need, thing. So we need to make sure people know what it is. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. What are you doing here? No, but, uh, Supporting God. Do you, are you religious? No. I used to be. Most Catholics I meet, no problem. Like, you're, you're chill. Not, why are you, not, not why you wearing the sign that says LARP? What is LARP? So, like, um, LARPing is like when, like, teenagers or, like, little kids, like, dress in, like, wizard costumes, and, like, act like they're these really cool, like, so ways. So, typically, LARP right now means someone who, like, poses as, like, really strong or, like, they're super cool, but they're just wearing, like, costumes. <laughs> 
you know why we wear it? No, actually, I don't. It's to attract attention. Oh, okay. And it worked. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah, it, it really works. Well. Yeah. All right. So we've been been here for a few hours now, and it's quite interesting to see, especially after lunch. Uh, we've been having a lot of debates. Uh, everyone who's handing out flyers is now in a discussion. It's impressive. Even one student brought out a cross. It's great. Yes, it's amazing. One thing that's interesting to see in the campaigns is that they're encouraged. They, they take courage from the fact that we're out here to come out and do this. So, so if that if that's just the one, uh, we have to have one student who does that. We're we're happy. This is a success. The fundamental problem with socialism is egalitarianism. Okay? They want to level society, level everything. That's a fundamental, fundamental problem. The first one is destruction of private property, and the other is destruction of inequality. Without inequality, society dies. Oh, so you society, just naturally want people to be It's a fact of life. We are not equal. Okay. Starting by the fact that you're a woman and I'm a man. Okay, so that's you, so fair. Do you but, agree that we're different? Um, yeah, but okay. I think so, two so trees those, are different. Does those, that really mean that they're that different, that it's an issue? Those differences are fundamental, fundamentally necessary for harmony to exist in society. Just like a to have a, symph a symphony orchestra play a beautiful piece of music, you can't have one instrument playing all the same note. So you God is supporting the people that are literally dying every day from not having the right health care. God is pro people being suffering, God, living God. paycheck to paycheck, and God is pro what I'm hearing God is God is pro time. virtue. So if we practice virtue, we will have a harmonious society. We will still have suffering because in this life, there is suffering. If we look at the examples of history, what was what institutions were the ones that that uh, helped stem the tide of poverty the most that actually helped people out? Those were Catholic institutions, charitable institutions. So you have, for example, the St. Vincent de Paul Society, which still exists today. So St. Vincent de Paul, he was someone that was very close to the problem. He was on the streets. He saw what poverty was, and he used Christian charity to try to resolve that problem. So that's why we're using that slogan today here. Uh, and hopefully it puts a seed in people's minds to really think about that because it is a truth. Um, it is a solution, unlike socialism, which just makes everyone poor. Sure, but we've been out here, I would say, about two and a half hours. Uh, it's past lunchtime now. I can't wait to uh, pay someone to uh, make lunch for me, give him his just wage. Lunch break. We'll have to buy our own lunch today because the socialists won't pay for it. <laughs> 